friends. Do you know what time it is? Today, we're going to learn how to read a clock and learn all about telling time. Are you ready? This is Mr. Clock. Hello. Mr. Clock has 12 numbers. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And Mr. Clock also has three hands. There's a short hand that helps us tell the hour. The long hand tells the minute. And sometimes there's a really thin hand that moves quickly. That's counting seconds. Each hand moves at different speeds. The thin hand that counts the seconds moves the fastest. Then the long hand that's counting the minutes moves a little slower. And the short hand that counts the hours moves the slowest. All three hands help us tell the time. Let's learn how time works. There are 24 hours in one day. That's 12 hours for daytime and 12 hours for nighttime. Each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds. So one entire day is full of hours, minutes, and seconds. It's like a big puzzle of time. Let's say it together. 60 seconds is one minute. 60 minutes is one hour. And 24 hours is one day. Great job! Let's practice reading the time. I'm going to show you a clock and different times, and you can help me tell me what time it is. Are you ready? Look over here. The short hand is on the number one and the long hand is on the number 12. What time is it? That's right, it's one o'clock. Now, when the long hand starts moving all the way around, the short hand moved to the number two. And now the long hand is on the number 12. What time is it? Right, it's two o'clock. Let's keep moving around the clock. That long hand is gonna keep circling around a few times and now it stopped on the number six. What time does this look like? My short hand is on the number four and my long hand is on the number six. What time is it? That's right, it's 4.30. Or it's half past four, because I'm halfway around. Now let's keep going. The long hand is going to keep circling around all day. As the sun goes down, we're reaching a different time. Now my short hand looks like it's at the number seven and my long hand is on the number 12 again. What time is it? That's right, it's seven o'clock. The clock is going to keep turning around and around as the day goes by. And the hours keep going up and up until we finish 12 hours of our day. Great job! You're learning how to read a clock all by yourself. How wonderful! Now that you know how to tell time, always remember each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds. And one day has 24 hours. All of these pieces fit together and help us tell the time. Next time you see a clock, try and read the time out loud. 
Maybe it will be 10 o'clock, maybe it will be four, or maybe six. Great job. Thanks for learning with me today. I'll see you next time. Bye friends.